Now, ocean deoxygenation. Probably haven't heard of that, but it's a very big problem. Oceans losing oxygen due to climate change, which will, in turn, affect hundreds of millions of people, according to a new United Nations report. Scientists are calling this the ultimate wake-up call to humanity. Why? Well, the ocean represents 97% of the physical, habitable space on the planet. It is central to sustaining all life on Earth. The major drivers of ocean oxygen loss are climate change and nutrient pollution, with the latter affecting coastal areas. Scientists say rising sea temperature caused by carbon dioxide and other greenhouse gas emissions is leading to oxygen-depleted zones. The report found the loss of oxygen from the world's ocean is increasingly threatening fish species such as tuna, marlin and sharks. Right, we've got Mina Epps with us now, Director of the Global Marine and Polar Programme at the International Union for Conservation of Nature. They put out the report and she is at the COP25 uh, summit in Madrid. Mina, thank you for your time. This is a, a story which just got us all really interested today because it's a side of climate change that we haven't heard about. We've heard all about carbon emissions and what it does to the, the heating of the planet. But this is a, 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 a different sort of effect which we might not have considered before. Correct. So it's a different type of crisis. Uh, it's a crisis of the ocean. And you're absolutely right that it has been missing from the climate change negotiation and very much been focused on what's been going on at land. So I think it's very timely. This is a blue cock. And, and finally, the oceans, which contains 97 percent of living space, is getting the attention that it deserves. So if I completely oversimplify this, and forgive me for doing that, but basically, Carbon emissions continue, sea temperatures rise, the oxygen in water levels goes down. And it talks about different zones. Now, is that in different parts of the mm -hmm. world? Is that at different levels of the sea? Tell us how it actually then affects the marine life in turn. OK, so what we're seeing or what we've seen is actually a decline in 2 percent of the global oxygen level. They have been reduced by 2 percent. And it doesn't sound like a lot. But just these two small changes will have enormous implications. Um, but within that is actually mass a lot of regional differences. So we can take an example, let's say, off the south, southeast coast of, uh, of California in the deeper waters. We've seen a decline in 30 percent of oxygen level in the last 25 years. So how does this all affect, you know, um, life in the ocean and ultimately mm. us? Uh, and because we're depending on it for all the mm. regulatory systems. So deoxygenation will have an impact on biodiversity, on biomass of commercially important species um, and vulnerable species or rare species, but also habitats. So those oxygen rich and, and which are favorable conditions to some species will shrink. These are shrinking these habitats. But also we are altering the energy and biochemical cycles within the ocean. And that means mm. these upwell systems, which are absolutely crucial to sustain these fisheries, that's bringing the, the nutrient-rich waters up into the surface areas. I, so we are seeing that species are migrating because of this. I mean, I, I presume this has actually been going on for a long time and it's actually just something which hasn't had uh, a, lot of, uh, a, a lot of attention. Um, it just sort of feels these days that there is this exponential rise in threats, or maybe we're just learning more about it now and, and there's more coverage. Which one is it? Well, it could, be, it could be both, but in terms of these issues, the scientists, the individual scientists, they've known about it for a long time and been hammering on. What the IUCN did is that we worked with 67 different experts around the world, putting together this report, looking at this cumulative impact, but also the linkages to climate change. So this is all those different parts of the puzzles are coming together. And of course, climate change has an amplifying effect to these issues. Um, we're, we're, we're already seeing the changes and they're drastically all the alterations that we've done to the oceans. Really interesting talking to you about this. Mina Epps from the International Union for Conservation of Nature. Thank you. Thank you very much.